Bison football has returned to the Fargo Dome. NDSU hosting the Youngstown State Penguins in the continuation of their 2020 season. New starting quarterback Zeb Nolan leading the Bison onto the field for their first game since October 3rd. We start in the first with Kobe Johnson taking the handoff here, and the sophomore is going to find his way into the end zone. Bison would go for two and get it. They lead 8 to nothing early. NDSU would lead 11 to nothing after the first half. We go to the third, and the herd going back to Johnson, who takes full advantage of a massive hole created by his offensive line, making some moves through the second level and then turning on the Jets to take it deep into Penguin territory. And a couple plays later, the Bison strike on the ground again, but this time it's redshirt freshman Jalen Bussey making his way into the end zone and the green and gold lead 18-0. Tail end of the third, it's the Penguins finally getting on the board as Mark Wade will find Jake Coates. The special team standout hauls it in to make it an 11-point game once again. But the dagger would come in the fourth as Bussey strikes again, making his way into the end zone for the second time today. Head coach Matt Enns talks about these new faces putting on a show in their spring opener. There was a lot of new experiences for guys today in a game setting and so really pleased with where we're at right now. Uh, of course I, I know it's, it's coaches talk but uh, we look forward to getting better every single game this year. There's no reason why we can't. The Bison now moving to 2-0 with a 25-7 win over the Penguins. The rushing attack dominated for the Bison as Kobe Johnson gathered 115 yards on the ground with a score, while Bussey finished with 43 yards and two touchdowns. The Bison defense also in midseason form, holding the Penguins to 171 total yards. Next up for NDSU, they travel down to play Southern Illinois in Carbondale. Onto the volleyball court now with the UND Fighting Hawks traveling to Omaha for a Summit League contest against the Mavericks. Despite two very close sets, the Fighting Hawks were swept by the Mavs in three sets. Omaha dominated the first, winning 25-15, while the next two were 26-24 and 25-22 victories. Taylor Riddell led the offensive effort for UND with eight kills, while the Mavs saw a 13-kill night from Sadie Limbach. These two teams meet again on Monday. Later in the night, the NDSU Bison volleyball team in South Dakota for a conference battle with the Coyotes. The Oats winning this contest 3-1. South Dakota won each of the first two matchups, but the Bison were able to avoid the sweep with a 26-24 win in the third set, but that only delayed the inevitable, inevitable as the Yotes put them away with a 27-25 win in the fourth. Elizabeth Junkie finished with 23 kills to lead both teams, while freshman Ali Hinsey added 19 for the Bison. These two teams meet once more in Vermilion on Monday. And to cap off an unusually busy Sunday at this time of the year, the NDSU soccer team in action in the bubble hosting the Western Illinois Leathernecks. The Bison blanking Western Illinois in a 2 to nothing effort. Olivia Lovick scored the only two goals that NDSU would need for the win, while Abby Wilkinson stopped all five shots on goal. The Bison haven't lost a game since dropping their season opener, Courtney, and they are now sitting at 3-1 and one on the season.